from Fitzroy and El Chalten in Patagonia. This video is all about photography workshops and are they worth it? Let's go. Our sunrise session here in Fitzroy, El Chalten is done. So it's time to dig into the meat of uh, why this photo workshop is worth it and why we believe the people on the tour and myself and Brendan and Tom uh, that these kind of experiences are really unique and quite uh, good, especially if you're looking to improve your photography and learn uh, along with others while on location in some pretty incredible places. So while we're hiking down back to El Chalten, I think I'll try and touch on a few points on why I think uh, and the others that photography workshops are definitely worth it. Wanted to just put a full disclaimer in here that this video is not a sales pitch that you should come whoa, on. Whoa, whoa, every whoa, whoa. Yes, it is a sales pitch. Come on one of our workshops and learn from the true master. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna try and block that guy. But it is, it's definitely not. It's more of a, an idea to give you the real insights from people who are here, including us, on why we think there is value to these workshops. Why are photography workshops worth it? To me, you're on location with people who are really knowledgeable and you get really hands on it. And there's a lot of stuff you can learn on YouTube, but to be honest with you, and uh, it's not just the, the, the tour leaders, it's also the other people you shoot with. You'll end up learning a lot in a short amount of time, more than you ever will by watching the video. Chris? For me, depending on experience, it doesn't really matter how much you have. You're with a group of 12, 13 people that have varying experiences, and you're gonna learn something. And you end up in locations you never thought you would. How's that? Perfect. Bit of off and on shadow happening in the forest right now. It's such a beautiful morning to be heading back down to El Chao Ten and to share a little bit of this landscape with you guys. I was walking through here a couple of videos back talking about the uh, iconic locations and if they are worth the shot. So kind of interesting to be back here making this video now about uh, photography workshops and are they worth it. So again, the idea for this was if somebody sort of wants to do a photography workshops, they're considering it, but they want to know are they worth it. This video is for you. The idea is to share with you sort of, I guess, that value of why you would want to consider doing this. So if you don't know, I used to work as an adventure tour leader here in South America for a small groups adventure company. And I was down here for three and a half years, uh, including three seasons in Patagonia. And that was a fantastic experience, but it was with travelers that, 
you know, we're just looking to explore the area and get to know the culture. It wasn't photography focused. And on these photography workshops, it's much more about getting the image and exploring uh, different destinations. And there's people that sort of organize these tours and help you get to those spots quickly and easily. And then it all depends on the weather from there. But one of the big things about the photography workshops that's really cool is that those locations are sort of preset. And you've probably already got an idea of what those images are gonna look like. So when you go on the workshop, those people that are leading it take you right there to those spots. Uh, they organize transportation, accommodation, uh, quite often some of the food as well. So, you know, it's kind of no hassle to get to uh, the location where you can then get the image that you're looking for. I think photo workshops are worth it. Um, I've been on, I guess, three now. Um, they can be a bit expensive, but I've never left one not learning something. And uh, I think it's always improved my photography and I get to meet all these cool people. So I'd say it's worth it. So I'm gonna put you on the spot while we're hiking down Mr. Brendan's adventures. Yeah. This video is uh, about are photography workshops worth it? And I know you're running a lot this year, so not like it's like a sales pitch or anything, but your genuine thoughts on why photography workshops are worth it. Hmm. So personally, I think of photography workshops are helpful just because they give you that in the field experience with other photographers. Somebody's phone. Ugh. Found a phone on camera. <laughs> hey, free phone. I'll bring it down to the police. Well, Don't you worry. Some, Maybe turn it on and it's see. Mine, Is it yours? Yeah. Uh, I tried to get past Greg and it fell out. I think oh, it gives you that valuable experience of getting out and shooting with other people. And I honestly don't think you need to go on a workshop to do that. It's just a really good way to get out and shoot with other photographers. And I think that this whole idea of going out and shooting with mentors is a really good thing, but it's also very hard to do. So it puts you kind of in the field with some of your mentors, can take your images to the next level. But then on top of it, it puts you in the field with other photographers that are learning. And in my experience, the best way to learn in photography is to teach and so when we're in the field, we really encourage all the other photographers to kind of teach each other, help each other out. So yeah, I think that's where the value comes in is just being out in the field with other people, learning and being in that environment. Yeah, it just takes your photography to the next level. Most of the people that come on our trips are really good photographers naturally, but I like to think that we take their images to the next level. Probably the best thing about photography workshops is all the camaraderie with such nice people. Camaraderie. Nice. Camaraderie. 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 They're all so yeah, nice. Vamos, chico. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Are you done filming, Greg? Jesus. We're back, back at the accommodation here in El Chel 10, and I wanted to finish this video with a piece to camera about how difficult this video was to make. I didn't realize that going into it, I brainstormed the idea originally. We're like, yeah, that's really good. We'll be able to connect with people back home that are seriously considering going on photography workshops. But as I started to actually create the video, I realized that it started to sound kind of like a sales pitch, which is totally not the intention of this video at all. It was more of like an idea to try and uh, get the opinions of the people who are participating in this current workshop uh, to share with you about why they decided to uh, spend the money they did and come and participate here in Patagonia. And I think as an ex-tour leader, you know, I've got a lot of, uh, of professional insights on how photography workshops can be run, but it's it's also really interesting to see the opinion of Brendan and Tom, who are professional photographers, and even myself, I get paid to take photos. I would consider myself a professional now. I may not have two years ago. Maybe you're considering yourself an amateur and you will one day be a professional, whatever. It's, that's that's going past the point. Uh, the, the idea with this video about photography workshops is that they're unique. There's a ton of tours you can do all over the world that are either focused on a destination or an activity, but uh, something with 
photography, it's more like a hobby or even like a lifestyle, something that people want to focus their travel experience around. And having a workshop allows you to, to have a really unique travel experience focused on you know a type of photography, whether that be landscape or wildlife um, or yeah, streets, whatever it is, and, and, and make that social aspect a part of that. So integrating that social aspect into your travels all based around photography, which is the hobby and the main subject or reason for the whole thing coming together at the end of the day. So that is something that's unique and cool and a good way to uh, to socialize with other people that are doing the same things as you, that have the same hobbies, that have the same interests, and uh, you know it can take you to some pretty amazing places, like right here in Patagonia. So that's my final point. To, uh, to this video and I hope you've enjoyed it. We're trying to uh, to sort of differentiate the style uh, in the second half of the Patagonia workshop here and uh, share a little bit more, I guess, different style videos with you. But this is one of those times where I start to blabber on so I'm gonna cut myself off at the end of this video. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it and I will definitely see you on the next one from right down here in the south. Bye.